It's been a very, very busy first day for me here at the Foreign Office, and it began really with a, a, a big speech to about 700 of our, of our staff. I, I set out what I think that we need to be doing and what we need to be focusing on, and that is reshaping Britain's global profile and identity as a, as a great global player. And on Europe, clearly, we have to give effect to the will of the people in the referendum. But that does not mean, in any sense, leaving Europe. There's a massive difference between leaving uh, the EU and our relations with Europe, which, if anything, I think are going to be intensified and uh, built up at an intergovernmental level. And I was, I was very pleased to, to uh, receive a phone call from Secretary Kerry of, uh, of the United States, who totally agreed with that analysis. And his view was that post-Brexit and after the negotiations, what he really wants to see, and uh, I think this is the right thing for the UK, is more Britain abroad, a greater global profile. And I think we now have the opportunity to achieve that. So overall, it's been a very exciting day. So Foreign Secretary Johnson, uh, diplomacy is about personal relationships. I mean, you've said in the past you've compared a likely presidential, well, the presidential candidate to a sadistic nurse in a mental hospital. We know what was said about President Obama and his uh, ancestral heritage. And today, the French Foreign Secretary has said you've told a lot of lies in the campaign. The German Foreign Secretary has said uh, some of the stuff you've done is outrageous and irresponsible. Well, after a... a vote like the referendum result on June the 23rd, it is inevitable that there's going to be a certain amount of plaster coming off the ceiling in the chancelleries of, of Europe. It wasn't the result that they were expecting and uh, clearly uh, they're making their views known in a, in, a, in a frank and free way. I have to say that uh, the gentleman that you, that you mentioned, the, the French Foreign Minister, in fact has sent me a charming uh, letter this, just, just a couple of hours ago uh, saying how much he looked forward to, uh, to working together and to deepening Anglo-French uh, cooperation on all sorts of areas and that is what we want to achieve. And here in the, in the Foreign Office we have such incredible skills, such talent uh, and I'm absolutely certain that we have the people here who are going to be able to, to forge that global identity for Britain. And Foreign Secretary, can you clarify what the role of this organisation will be once some section of its functions is carved off into David Davis's department and are you still lobbying to leave the single market? Uh, it's very important that uh, people should realise when you leave Heathrow, when you leave Dover, uh, a British citizen is, is basically the responsibility of the Foreign Office. Our diplomacy is run by the, uh, by the Foreign Office, but we will be working very closely, as you can imagine, with the, the new departments for international trade and, and, uh, and for the withdrawal from, from the EU, and they will be borrowing some of our, our staff as, 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 is only, as is only proper. But there's a, a huge opportunity, and I think that the mood here today, I was, I've been very struck by how excited and how positive people here are about the, the opportunities for Britain. Thanks a lot. See you. Thank you.